Boxer events and even Challenger events that he's been to, he's really put on a show and he's been able to qualify on the winner's side of a lot of these tournaments. And it's kind of like a, a new angle or a new storyline that we're seeing on the TWT mm -hmm. that Japan is back. They're back. You know, they were, they were kind of being slept on yeah. earlier in the year. Like, where's Japan? What happened to them? And then but out of nowhere, back. We saw at the Korean Master Event, they had more Japanese players than Koreans in that top eight mm -hmm. in this year. And even at EVO, there were more Japanese players. So we're seeing maybe, is it a changing of the guard? I don't know. I don't know what's happening, man. But right now, I can tell you the Yamasa boys are playing very, very well. They are doing very well. But we have another, oh, goodness another crazy matchup. <laughs> yes, we do have another crazy matchup. We have Mr. JDCR coming up to the stage. Who is his opponent going to be? It's got a cherry and a berry, maybe a mango in there too. Yeah. Korea versus Korea. That's uh, quite the smoothie. Yes. But we're going to see these two guys go at it. JDCR, no stranger, of course, to the Rev Major stage, uh, able to win it two years ago. Mm -hmm. And now he's back here in the Philippines. Let's see if he's able to do it again. JDCR earlier today was using some dragon off. That's what he's hovering over immediately as well. I, I, I kind of want to just ask him, so like, hey, JDCR, how does it feel to have all your characters approved? In yeah. season three. Every one of them for you, season three. You throw the winds out of the bracket, how odd. <laughs> the Cherry Berry Bango, we have not seen in quite some time at a master event. You know, he really traveled a lot early on in the CWT for this year. Kind of right. took a little bit of a break, but now he's back. Season three, Jin, a new facelift. Jin has so uh, some improvements here on. and there, but also Cherry Berry Bango probably having a new different outlook on his play style. Yeah, he's forced to now, right? Because of the changes to the character, you can't approach the same way you did in Season 2. So you've seen these players adapt and use new cheap tools that their characters have that they didn't really need to use as much in the past. Yeah. And it was this one should be a doozy, and we're starting off in an open stage. And again, this is going to be just a test of who's able to take advantage early on, who's able to close it out. It should be noted that, of course, JDCR has won many a tournament throughout Tekken 7's reign. Mm -hmm. But Cherry Berry Mango really hasn't really won a big one yet. Yeah, he's very close to versus fighting earlier. That was the first match event of the year. I believe he was top two, top three in that event. Yeah. Using Super Kuma at the end. Yeah, he also he got second place, but then there was also uh, Evil Japan where he got top three, right? Uh-huh, that's right. Hasn't had that breakout moment just yet. Breakout win, I should say. Counter it, forward four, look at that. I thought he doesn't give a combo anymore. Yeah, I mean, it combos when he does it, but he missed the follow up there. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, it's much harder now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all about dedication to make sure that you transition. Let's see what he does here. Oh, oh wild God. rising too. That was good, that was really good. Jake, I should be able to close it out. Easy. KO. Nicely nice. done. Round two. Taking that first round quite convincingly here. Not too many mistakes on JDCR's side. And oh, here we go, this is gonna hurt. Counter it that time. And what he misses. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. Look at that. That is so sick. It's kind of uncharacteristically there. Dropping the combo. Giving Cherry Berry Bango an opportunity. Yeah, this one is kind of interesting, right? Because if Jin actually carries that Russian Assault running through, he can actually get like a can can on his, on his side, right? So that parry could be very useful here later on. And the throws, man, they've been landing throughout what we've seen so far, at least throughout the entire day. Round three. Especially that bar fight grab. Mm. Fight. Right now, JDCR one round away from securing that first match. Yeah, he went for that crouch dash one. One of the, the things I love about JDCR is dragging out full. Here we go. Yo, what the hell? And the thing is, we see a lot of, you know, start of the round, Cherry Berry Mango will end a big combo, but then it kind of falls apart. And that's been the tail of the last two rounds at the very least. Right now, JDCR in rage, giving him more opportunities to deal more damage. But is he going to be able to land the hit that he needs to, to do it? I'm about to clutch low parry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Throws Dangerous. out the leg. Round four. Fight. Cherry Berry. <laughs> And JDCR really restricting the movement option that Cherry Berry Mango has. Chopping away at his life bar right now. Double dash trying to get something out of JDCR. JDCR gives him nothing. Whoa, oh, nice. Fuck. But no punish there. Looking for this opportunity again, just outside of the range. I like it when Cherry Berry Mango's kind of just doing a half dash in, waiting, trying to create space. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Into the rage drive immediately, get all the damage you can. And that was with no wall. Damn, oh what the hell? Gosh. What a combo. Oh, blue stuff right back at you. JDCR takes game one. Yeah, JDCR not phased at all by that amazing rage drive combo. 
and uh, Oki option. He just that was, was like, cool. that's cool, let me do this. <laughs> what stage does he want, though? He started off with no walls, but it looks like he's bleeding he definitely towards the wall, wall stage. Yeah. He's so good at the wall, right? Especially now that he has improved wall carry. Mm -hmm. He has an amazing wall bounce attack. That's true. There's a lot of things going for him. I mean, it would help him out. I mean, JD, we all know JD's guard is a master of movement. He likes to sidestep. He likes to create opportunities instead of just standing there and blocking. Yeah. Having a wall to his side will kind of restrict that and it'll, get, it'll probably, you know, make things a little bit easier for Cherry Berry Mango to kind of trap his opponent into running into a lot of his attacks. That's a great point. But you got to land him, though. He might just stand there and block. You never know. Yeah, it can be very hard to do, but here we go. Geometric Lane for game number two now. Newly sponsored by Illusion Cherry Berry Mango. Going up against unsponsored JDCR. Round one. Fight. Just like that, hasn't kind of near the wall here, just from pressure alone. Good positioning for JDCR. What a tough. Okay, don't test me. You can uh, those. Except the combos. Don't yeah, test the combos. Test the combos more. <laughs> oh, nice. You're trying to catch him. KO. That's the Again, Round just that superior spacing, Fight. knowing when to throw out the attacks. Everything has been working out in his favor. Yeah, it seems like TBM is just hesitating ever so slightly on everything. Kind of JDCR kind of just one step ahead every time that he's throwing out an attack. Yeah, exactly. JDCR is controlling the pace of it and CBM is forced to react the entire time. But right now he's looking pretty good. Wow, good positioning again. So situational awareness there, knowing that the throw break will be precise. Oh man, the low jab able to put a stop to the pressure. Oh, he went for the wall bounce. And that's a messed up the wall bounce probably. Yeah. Has an opportunity here. What's he going to go for? Oh boy. Doesn't get anything out of there. Could have had a punish, but. Oh, Beautiful that's big. Should be dead. Great. Should be enough. Oh, oh my it was god. So close. Oh god. Okay, the bat too closes it out. I was very scared from right there. Oh yeah. Three. Fight. Those are, the, on the board. those are the situations you want to avoid. Low life. Opponent in rage. How you shave a few years off your life. Oh, what Woo! a sidestep. I like that. I can't get kicked. He goes for the wall carry. Into the nice. savage sword. Look at that damage. Two throw. There's the break. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, again, that's a good position switch there from JDCR. Yeah. Right, that was probably the whole intent of the grab. Yeah. Oh. LLR. Hey! DBM bringing him out. He hasn't been doing that much. No yeah. else weeks. Fight. And of course, this is big. This is something that he needed. Oh, there's a follow up. Goes to the wall setting one time. Uh oh. JDCR pushing against towards the wall, looking to tie it up. What a sidestep. Damn, he's looking good right now. Set point for JDCR to move into top eight alongside Novi. Nice break on the command grab. Yeah, all through two break that time, got it. Damn, what a block. What a punish as well. Oh. Look at this, JDCR again extending his lead. Taking time positioning now. Good to see him, he went for the wall bounce. JDCR went under it, Get that down too. Nice. That's big, the low parry could change the momentum here. He's gonna push towards the wall. Doesn't have raid though. I like the wave. The wave, the wall bounce! What a setup there. Is Look at the dead? damage! Oh, oh my god! god. Edie wasn't even in range. I told you that wall bounce is ridiculous. Man. And now we're tied up. Yeah, CBM able to bring it here. Looks like we're going to the stage. Like, what is he gonna pick here? Is he gonna go for an open stage, you think? Maybe. I would do it. He definitely did. Man, I love though. After he did the wall carry combo, he just wave away would get back in his face. That was beautiful. So CBM tying it up with that regular gin. In the open stage now. Mm hmm. This is uh, probably the optimal positioning for JDCR. He wants to be able to move, like we mentioned. He likes to create opportunities to create attacks yeah, against his opponent. But Cherry Berry Mango has to have a game plan in mind. Oh, definitely. I have a feeling he's going to go for moves that are harder to see Fight. and that track 
He's got a parry. Yeah. Why isn't he parrying? I don't know. Maybe he's saving it for the end. You never know. Could be. Maybe he wants the running dudes to come he out. He tried it. Uh -huh. Nice. One for the grab. They're able to duck right out of it. Yeah, two one didn't actually reach. Second hit. That was interesting. JD Star, man, his movement is so crisp right now. Back is just enough to create space here, then also sidestepping in case he needs to evade something. How does he block though? Oh, look at that, point blank. Dude, wow. JD Star, when he plays like this, it's ridiculous. Right? Like, how are you supposed to beat that? And it's crazy because, you know, I don't want to say it, I don't want to jinx it, but this is kind of like shades of old JD Star right? from like a year the same and a half ago, where he had such a dominant reign over the TWC. Not over just yet though, man. People have been rising up. Hey, ain't that the other game? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, starting off, he gets a low berry into the combo. The follow up. Hop kick! Yeah. Good stuff. Cherry Berry Mango able to, to get the interrupting three. hop kick, knowing something was going to come out. Yeah, he's got to loosen up. When he's looking up, he's playing better. Yeah. Again, the hop kicks are coming out. Maybe he's this like, is the answer he needed. Yeah, shades of old. We took some new gin. Damn. Oh, big counter hit. But again, JD Star with the, the mini sidestep here, just creating so many opportunities for himself. You have to be careful of uh, one hook to get him. Oh, man. DBM's defense is looking good right now. He's got so many mids now. Ooh. Oh, he went for it there. Now Damn! The, oh the crowd dash wanted that should be that for the round. Yeah. Jerry Berry Mango definitely tried to press round something there early on. Got hit by the counter hit. And now JDCR sitting pretty right now. I don't know, man. It's going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult, but it's not over just yet. CBM still has a good chance here. How does what he a block? Body. How does he block body. all the down fours? It's part of his regimen here. He's sidestepping, he's ducking, he's creating opportunities, and he's blocking at the same time. It all happens in the blink of an eye. And yeah, CBM dropping the low parry combo there. And just like that, James has all caught up in life because of it. Yeah, you would think Dragonov has a bigger right like this. He's been stuck sidestepping right the whole time. <laughs> he is definitely working that sidestep, and it's working out to perfection at this point. <laughs> Man, JTR keeping it close here. Heck, Lodge a good win for either player. He's trying to catch him with that hook kick. He's oh. unable to get in deep enough. Deep I want to see him go up the deep, deep. Oh fix. my gosh. Oh, the hot kick's blue limit. He's got to hide nothing this time. Five seconds to go. And JTR going to close it out with the down forward one. JDCR moving in to winner's side top eight. Spacing and racing to the top eight. I like what I'm seeing here from JDCR.